everybody? It's out of Death Dealer Gray. I'm back for a battle rap update. And I have watched a couple of battles. But first, I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to do my thoughts on the Blood, Sweat, and Tears 3 card and a recap of Chilla Jones versus Prep. So we're going to start off with Chilla Jones versus Prep first because that's more expensive. Here we go. The first round let me know everything that was going to happen because my nigga Chilla Jones blanked the fuck out. Like, he blanked out. Um, I, I mean, I mean, I've been watching him for two years. I watched King of the Dot. I watched... I had. I watch every league. So I've been knowing that Chilla Jones is becoming a fucking beast. And Prep, his overconfidence and his delivery kind of get in the way of some great balls. Because he has some great balls. He just delivered badly. I feel. I feel if he should have slowed down, got the audience involved. You know what I mean? Like, really rock that stage, homie. Like, you're not on the avenue. Like, and he a DMV boy, so you know what I mean? Shouts to DMV. I want his son to, you know, put up a better fight. I ain't want his son to get washed. You feel me? I kind of figured he's going to get washed. But, you know, I wanted him to at least surprise me and prove me wrong. But he got washed, man. The second round, Chilla had a fucking Disney scheme that was just keep acting goofy. I, I leave your intestines ta inside out, tangled, frozen when I smack your koofy. Nigga talk, blah, blah, blah. I give this rat a toolie. Like, yo, like, who comes up with that kind of shit? Like, that, that, man, that was crazy. And I heard Danny beat Rex, so writer's block whipping ass, apparently. And, um, but I, I thought, man, that battle was, I mean, Chiller's pen is one of the nicest in battle rap, so. I feel like Prep, his delivery and how he was spitting, especially in the first round when his balls wasn't hitting, it's because he hits them expecting the punch. Like, just just roll. Like, spit your shit. Because when you're so focused on niggas just catching the ball, like, you performing. Like, just go. Like, you know, that's why a lot of dudes be like, yo, hold on, let me finish. It's like, them niggas just want to keep going. Like, yo, when you hit the punch, let that shit sing for a hot second and keep going. Because if you sit there and wait, motherfuckers going to look at you like, that shit light. Keep moving. You know what I mean? So when he said the blah, 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 nah, 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 he wait. And the crowd's like, the fuck you pause for? Like, you could have just kept going. And then niggas are like, all right, this nigga just he going through his shit. You know what I mean? It's a bit. It's just certain things I, I feel I perhaps should work on. He got washed. It's 3-0. It's a clear ass whooping. I, I don't, you know, I'm not one of them niggas. Well, you can give him one. Can't give him a third round either because that, man, we got to pause that. That shit was hard. Like, I was like, damn, this nigga Chilla Jones said fuck the pen and performed on a nigga. Took a hard, he took a hard angle. And I think he brought a complete battle. Like, I think the king of the dot. Brings that out a lot of people where you 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 bring all three to the table. It's personals, balls, even if it's heavy balls, personal heavy balls, angles. You feel what I'm saying? And I feel that he just brought a complete battle. Now Chilla had the very nice part about nigga. I'm trying to help you get the job. I thought that was that was fly. You feel me? I fuck with that. I thought that shit was pretty ill. I just wish that creativity and that you know showmanship was throughout. And it would have been a way better battle. So that's how I personally feel about about that one. But other than that, um, I mean, it's expected, man. You got washed. You feel me? Now back to this blood, sweat, and tears three card, cause I'm fucking with this card. Like I'm fucking with this card. You got Arsenal and Show Off. Two disrespectful ass niggas. I like Show Off pen more, but he be stretching words a lot. No. I'm not always a fan of that. And Arsenal, if he's on A game, he might wash Show Off. But I mean, I it it, it, it should be a good battle. RBE be don't put on no bullshit ass battles. You see what I'm saying? You got what does that say? Charlie Clips and Adi Boom. Adi gonna bring the pain. Like 
he he always brings good shit. I fuck with Audi Heavy. That's my favorite new nigga that came out a couple years, you know, a couple years back. That's my nigga, man. I, I fucks with Audi. You know, he's very consistent in his battles. You know, besides C three, I thought that was. But other than that, he's very consistent in his battles. Uh, Charlie Clips, he's not consistent to me. I think he's in, he's great battler. Just if he comes with some good shit, we'll have a real good one off. I definitely fuck with that. It just it depends on clips, you know what I mean? Cortez and Jims. Jims definitely improved his pen because he always had a great aggression. I feel a great aggression. He knows how to deliver his balls well. But is he beating Cortez? I really doubt it. And Cortez is on the stage. That's not smack. He's probably going to be given a good time limit. He's probably going to whip that ass. I mean, Jims has to really up his paint. Like, you can't out, you're not going to outperform Cortez. That's not going to happen. And yeah, you can get aggressive with him all day, but Cortez isn't calm neither. It's like he puts you in a box where, nigga, you have to just hit harder than him. And you're not hitting harder than Cortez. That's not happening. But do I think it'll be a good battle? I definitely do. I think I think Jim's will bring it. You know, I haven't I watched a lot of Jim's battles, so it's not like he never didn't bring it before. But when he upped his pen, now I want to see a lot more with his pen game looking a lot sharper. You know what I'm saying? Um, you got Oops versus Born. I mean, personally, I think Born's gonna beat his ass. Oops doesn't win battles. Like this nigga has one of the he's one of the rising stars with like zero and five. Like that's ridiculous. Like, you got to win, my nigga. Like, RBE, I'm glad they pick you, man. But you got to win, my nigga. Like, come on, son. Like, you just getting your ass whooped all the motherfucking time. Nobody want to. Come on, my nigga. Don't, nobody want to see that shit. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, no, 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 no shots. It's just, you got to win, man. Like, niggas, I don't want to see you get your ass whooped all the time. Uh, Rosenberg Raw versus Jay Murder. I think this is pretty awkward. I think Rosenberg Wall, I think he beat DNA when they battled on Don't Flop, I, I feel. And I feel it's because he stuck to his guns. He wasn't trying to outbar the nigga. He just did everything else better than you. He he delivered his balls harder. You know, he wasn't trying to sound like K-Shine Light. So that was definitely a plus. Uh, Jay Murder got a nice pen too. So I definitely want to check out some Jay Murder more. Um, from the few I've seen, heard he's nice. Heard Cortez washed him. I heard that shit, but uh, other than that, man, you know, this looks like a pretty good card. You get then the last battle, you got Breezy Knight versus P Dot. I've heard the name P Dot before. I haven't watched any battles, and I've never heard of Breezy Knights. But like I said, I always look forward to the unknowns the most because he don't know what to expect. So I hope you know, hope these dudes bring you know a game. It might might be one of the highlights of the night, man. I hope so. You know, I don't know these guys, but I ain't gonna shit on them. You know what I mean? But I hope it's a good event. I hope it's a good battle. So far, Blood, Sweat, and Tears 3 looks good. And I'll do another video about Lift the Soul 2. But RBE, a fucking RBE. They put on classic battles. But, of course, out of Death Dealer. You know, new project out called Pre-Transcend on SoundCloud. Check that out. Check out my IG. Al underscore D-A underscore d-e-a-f d-e-a-l-a -E out of death dealer and check out the website www.illclick entertainment for all of my camps music and other updates on merchandise and prices on shirts the whole nine yards check us out bang